welcome to my channel. So today I'm down in London and just going to head to Harrods. Um, they have a quite a large food hall so I thought I'd pop down and get a few picky bits and things to have uh, for lunch today. Um, if you've not been before it's divided into various sections. This section is like the confectionery and kind of chocolates. Who doesn't love chocolates? So um, the temptation was, was high. And as you can see, there's various different truffles you can buy. There's also Laderay, which is quite a well-known uh, macaron or macaroon um, company. Um, and they have like a section in Harrods. So you can see here the, all the different um, flavors. They also do little kind of patisserie cakes, which all look completely delicious. Um, I was so tempted to get some actually, but on this occasion I didn't. Um, but I do really love Laderay. And as you kind of uh, pan round, you can see all different sections. So this is also another brand. And they have, again, um, different types of truffles, um, mini chocolates. And you've also got various kind of little gift ideas, uh, which is great for Christmas. And as you can kind of see and walk round, um, you can see all the little kind of options you can get for gifts. There's also a pick and mix stand, which is really popular in, in England. Um, and again, some more kind of gift ideas. I thought these were really cute, actually. There's like a little mini present. Um, and these are all about kind of um, 16 to kind of 18 pounds, which isn't too bad. And um, yeah, really lovely, pretty packaging. Now this company I know about, they're quite an exclusive brand to Harrods, basically a very bougie chocolate brand. Um, so they're not cheap and if you want something quite luxe as a gift, I definitely recommend them. And then as you walk around you can see some of the kind of um, Harrods own, um, which are little mini kind of boxes you can get as gifts, which is really nice. Again, they're all different brands. You can see around the top, um, got Laderay, um, Will and Curler. Yeah, all different types. So you've got plenty of choice. And then you can just see them making the chocolates. They look good. Really good, actually. And then there's bits of chocolate artwork. It's kind of cool. And then you can see all the different um, types of chocolate. Champagne, birthday bonbon, salted caramel, peanut butter. I would say as well, when you go through the chocolate hall, there are different kind of budgets as well. You can get some cheaper type of chocolates, um, I mean, depending on what your budget is, obviously. Um, they're not all like super, super expensive and they'd be really great for like nice little gifts. So there's some, um, Coconut truffles, which is um, Harrods own. It's like biscuit butter truffles, sixteen pounds. And then there's salted caramel almonds, chocolate almonds. And then a nice little nut collection in a nice little wooden box, which look to be. 80 pounds and then little ones that are 16 pounds i'm not really a big fan of um cocoa almonds to be honest it's not my thing but it'd be nice as a good gift then you've got some very cute milk sea salt caramel truffles they're 10 pounds oh a nice little one oh look double seven fine british milk chocolate bar I'm a bit James Bond obsessed, so that's kind of my cup of tea. The 750 is a little bit cheaper, which is 80 grams. So it's still quite small. And then you've got cute little boxes. Fine dark chocolate ginger sticks. It's quite sweet, for 17 pounds. And some very, very little mini, again, James Bond related chocolates and then again you can see all the different 
brands of chocolate. So this is the fresh market for the rotisserie. I usually come here to get like lunch bits, but you can have nice truffle cheeses, greens. Oh, these look nice. Four cocktails. It's to be six pounds. Salmon fish cakes, crab cakes. I might even get something for the way home actually. Um, hmm. What to get actually? Nice salads. These salads do look yummy actually. That one. Peach and variety salad. So that's three pounds fifty per hundred grams. Ooh, carnation chicken salad. Three pounds per hundred grams. That looks really yummy actually. Sure. Then there's um, what a lot of YouTubers would say are kind of British beige bits. You've got pork pies, which is very English. Looks to be ghost cheese, sweet potato, beef and stilton, beef and ale. Yeah, and they're like between five and six pounds, which actually isn't too bad. They're boxing at about four pounds. Caramelised red onion, pork pie. I'm a fan of pork pies though. Traditional sausage rolls, paprika chorizo, red onion chutney, and then you've got at the back pulled pork and apple. They all look to be about five pounds. Again, that's not too bad. Scotch eggs, some of the little, little bits, olives. Mm, now, this is the bit, this is the cakes and the naughty things that I like. Cheesecakes. Tiramisu, and you can buy a slice for like six fifty. Chachis, they're quite huge slices actually. And then you get big cakes, and then there's all different cuisines. So this is curry. So you got all the different sections at the top. Oh, it smells amazing. I do love curry. And then they've got little pasta, grab and go bits, or black truffle mac and cheese. I do like black like truffle. And then there's various sauces. And then you can get your homemade pasta to order. All different types. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually eat pasta unless it's gluten free. Gives you an idea. Okay. And then there's a few more of the braised beef. Wild mushroom. Oh, and then you've got some poke bowls you can make up. Catsuit chicken, oh they look nice. Chili basil chicken. And then you can get dim sum, oh my favourite, Peking duck. Do love Peking duck, oh my god, that is a bit pricey though. £42 for half Peking duck, or £25.50 for quarter. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey. These look good, stir fried lamb. 485 per 100 grams. They all look quite yummy. Lots of fresh mushrooms you can get. All these summer truffle. 110 pounds per 100 grams. I absolutely love truffle in any form. You can see all different types. There's big ones at the back. And then obviously regular mushrooms. You can get fresh fruit, which to be honest, I'm not gonna get. It's not really my thing. Chocolate ball or fruit, I'm gonna go for the chocolate ball. But you can get chocolate covered strawberries, which do look quite nice. So a few more of the fruits, all different exotic fruits, different nuts, you like that kind of thing. And this is quite handy, it gives you an idea of all the different kind of salad rolls. So you've got falafel and hummus, peanut and veggies, sweet potato, ham. Quite a choice. And then you've got the meats. Oh, yummy. Sorry, vegetarians, but I am a meat eater, so it's look quite delicious. And then there's also this. This looks quite nice. Luxury sandwich. Might be beef and goat's cheese with truffle. 
then you've also got lobster rolls, which are eight, 18 pounds. They look gorgeous, but that's quite a lot. Is it basket? Yeah. 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 So this one's really nice actually, I've had it before. It's actually quite massive and for eight pounds, I think it's pretty good value actually, because it is quite filling. I've not tried the other ones before though, the prawn, again the salmon looks quite nice. Asian prawn noodle, the tofu, halloumi, chicken burrito bowl. Again, all good sizes. The Korean beef salad looks quite good. Again, all eight pounds. Caesar salad looks pretty good. Triple club brioche roll looks right up my street, actually. But um, I think I'll do the coronation chicken sandwich instead. So you've got all the different types of caviar. They do quite a selection. Big kind of caviar, to be honest. But it's it's cool that they do this. I think in previous years they've had like a caviar advent calendar from memory. I think it was Harrison, didn't it? Um, but if it's that's your kind of thing, and then obviously different kind of um, goose and um, gravel acts, and different types of salmon. You want bellinis and things, so it's quite nice. And this is like smoked salmon hanging out, which is kind of cool. And this gives you an idea of all the classic caviar collection, if you're not that familiar. Again, with lots of fresh fruit. This is where you can get your smoothies. I quite like their ginger and carrot smoothie, which is nice. But um, it's all nicely chilled. So in effect, you could kind of do the food shop. I mean, it'd be a very expensive food shop. Um, but yeah, if that's your thing. And then this is the ro roast, roastery and fateful. So lots of kind of breads and um, other picky bits. Quite busy, people can sit in at the coffee bar, but um, it's not my thing really, and it's heaving. Uh, oh, we'll buy a sourdough actually. Maybe get a sourdough, Ooh, regular signature sourdough. Maybe I'll do that actually. Hi, could I get um, just your regular signature sourdough? Yep. Awesome, brilliant. Should have got a basket. <laughs> Can I pay in the other room? Yeah. Okay, that's great, thanks. So yeah, these are some long boys. So different types, triple chocolate, apple crumble, lemon meringue. Looks like long boys are like brioche finger donuts. Right, so this here. Gives you a bit of a look. This is patisserie. And then you've got some um, red berry EMS, tropical, apple crumble. And then you've also got tiramisu. So and then these look really cute. Little strawberry tart. Quite expensive though, eight pounds. It's nine pounds, it's quite quite um, ornate. Don't know if I'd spend that much to be honest, as much as I like desserts. Got chocolate eclairs, that's five pounds. And you can get a little mini patisserie set for 20 quid with a mini lemon meringue, chocolate hazelnut. Palais, Milfoy, uh, strawberry tart, raspberry and rhubarb cheesecake. Oh my god, look at that cherry tart. Oh, that looks good. I mean, it is technically one of your five a day, I guess. Kind of. So a slice is six pounds. It's quite a big, big slice, actually. It's like a whole one with an apple or cherry is 40 quid. It's very stodgy. These don't look too bad. Fresh Raspberry, I've got little mini cottage pies, 8 50 each, that's not too bad if you wanted dinner. And well, then you've got some veg as well, so you could pick up dinner if you wanted, which is quite nice. Oh, it does look lovely actually. Oh my god, it's super busy, I've just got a few bits. Um, I'm gonna head, head back now to the hotel. Uh, but these trolleys are super handy when you've got quite heavy things. Um, just put them back. So let's head out. It's way too busy. Yeah. 
Thank you.